All right, promised an update, and uh, basically the uh, nozzles that came with that Rainbird kit um, just were making way too much water and didn't atomize the uh, water very well. So I wasn't getting much evaporation, more just a uh, big mist of water. So what I did was uh, got these off of Amazon. Uh, it wasn't much, a couple of dollars and it came with a pretty good amount of them and basically all I did was unthread the existing nozzle uh, unthreaded the old Rainbird nozzles and just threaded that right in um, they seem to be sealing just fine and as you can see they've got a pretty coarse thread with an o-ring and uh, yeah they, they sealed great uh, significantly less water and as you can see it's almost all going straight in um, but I'm definitely going to need to add additional lines which is good because it's very easy to do that with the way it's set up uh, just puncture more holes and uh, you know add more in so I'm going to add more nozzles um, but at least now I don't I won't have this uh, moat going around the evaporator unit uh, I have very poor drainage in this area of the yard as is. Um, this, uh, this, we've had a lot of rain lately, as you can see in my wheel, wheelbarrow there. And uh, this side of the yard just gets a significant amount of water in it. Um, but at least here I feel that most of that water is going to actually evaporate. Um, but it's not enough mist. You definitely need more water or a, a broader spray so I'm just gonna add more lines in and uh, get some better coverage I also got the water filter installed um, it's just a universal calcium filter uh, I believe it's an orbit brand off of Amazon as well 15 bucks prime and uh, these nozzles were also prime I'll try to list the Amazon links um, solenoid valve is still working just fine no issues there so I think once I add some more nozzles uh, get a better dispersion of spray we're gonna actually start seeing some uh, efficiency increases and hopefully in about a month or two we'll we'll notice some savings on the power bill so until then I'll uh, leave this video as is and uh, once I add a couple more nozzles and get a couple of months of billing under my belt, I'll uh, update this again. Uh, kind of towards the end of the summer season, so, you know, with the, the weather in North Carolina the way it is, every month is different. Um, so it's going to be hard to do a direct comparison. Um, but I have no doubt that this is going to be making some kind of decrease in our energy usage and uh, money even if it's just cooling the coils not even through evaporative cooling but just the fact that tap water is coming out at 70 some odd degrees and uh, cooling off that hot condenser coil so I'm going to keep an eye on the condenser coils and make sure I don't have any type of calcium buildup if I do you know if, if I have to CLR the thing every couple of weeks and I actually have a noticeable decrease in, in my power bill and I, I think it's money well spent so I'll try to update this again in a month or two and see how it goes thanks